What is going on YouTube? Zero Hero 77 here. As you can tell, I am playing Naruto Shippuden Ultimate Ninja Storm 4. I may have butchered that. It's been a long time since I've even watched the series or played any of the games. Want to figure out how I got here? Want to know what I think of this game? Check out this first impressions. <laughs> As I previously said, it's been a super long time since I've watched Naruto, let alone Shippuden. I have no idea if I'm pronouncing that right. Uh, so I have no idea who Madara and Hashirama are. I do know, however, that I enjoy this demo, and I will gladly let you guys know why. First and foremost, my big question is, the Ninetales Fox is apparently out causing some shit. Is this a flashback before he's trapped inside Naruto? Maybe. Is Madara the bad guy? Probably. Is Hashirama a type of sushi? Probably not. All I know is we're controlling Hashirama, and it's our job to kick Madara, the presumed bad guy's butt. This is the first Ultimate Ninja Storm I've played. I'm assuming there's three other ones because this is number four, but I could be wrong. Crazier things have happened. What I gather from the game is it's a very involved type of fighting. Like Dragon Ball's universe, you have free roam of the battlefield. And you're able to attack from multiple ranges using Shuriken and different Jitsu abilities. There are various quick time events that will apparently all play out the same regardless how slowly or quickly you complete them. You're awarded between 1 and 4 stars based on how quickly you react or complete the quick time event. At the end of the battle you're awarded an overall ranking. This is a guess, but I'm assuming ranking is either a way to unlock new content, trophies, or other goodies that make coming back to tricky fights worthwhile. Don't tell me that's all you've got. Right away I found myself thinking, huh, this game looks really nice. There's so many things happening at once, it's hard to keep track of all of it. But from the various jitsus, destruction, and backgrounds, there's no issues with frame rate. There's also some craziness that goes on when you become a giant jitsu summon thing, and things become really flashy. You'll need to play through the demo twice to really appreciate how well things play out. It really is very smooth and very responsive. As you can hear as this wicked battle carries out, the soundtrack is very fitting for what it's unfolding to. The various clashes as the battle goes on almost seems to perfectly match up with the score. While this is simply here for the battle, if the rest of the game has a soundtrack that matches the gameplay, we'll be in for a treat. The voice work is classic Naruto. You know what you're getting into, it sounds like what you would expect. Let it be known that I've never had a problem with the voice work from the English dubbed anime. I know a lot of people don't like it, to each their own. I like the voices in the demo. I found them convincing, and I can't wait to hear what the full game has waiting. Overall, it is a pretty solid demo. You get the action, the showcasing of my slow reflexes with the quick time events, and showing everyone how quickly I can mash a button. Like any game, it takes a little getting used to the battle system. Luckily, it's pretty similar to other fighting and action games I've played. I would have enjoyed the demo more if I had any clue who any of these people were. But that's just from someone who is coming in with minimal knowledge. If you're into fighting games or a fan of Naruto, check this out. You won't be disappointed. The action is sure to keep the controller in your hand and a smile on your face. Thanks for checking out my first impression. And as I say, until next time. <laughs>